Hi, I'm Hazel. It's actually Saturday today, which means that one, I am late. I'm sorry, I would give you excuses, but they're not good, so we'll move right past them. And secondly, it's time to sit down and catch up on the WoW News of the Week, what I've been up to, and answer some of your questions. This week, some clever people data mined the existence, but obviously not the contents, of two new cinematics coming in patch 825. The noteworthy thing about this is that these are long. Uh, one was data mined to be 3 minutes and 18 seconds, and the second one to be, I believe, 6 minutes and 18 seconds. And in in-game cinematic terms, I feel like a 6 minute cinematic, it, it may as well be a year long. Like, that's a saga. We don't know what's in them yet. Um, it's speculated to be wrapping up the Sylvana story, and if they do choose to do that, I'm really curious then what do they do in 8.3, like do we wrap up Sylvanas in 8.25 with the war campaign and then 8.3 happens and we just go fix the old god issue real quick and then in 9.0 in the next expansion we can just, I mean I don't know what we're gonna do. I haven't read the leaks yet and maybe those explain what's happening. I have a lot of disdain for WoW leaks because I've fallen for them before and then been embarrassed when every time it turns out they were a pile of garbage. I might do a video at some point to look through them because people keep asking me, but I just, I'm very skeptical. I've been burned before. Also this week, they announced more details about the revamped Recruiter Friend feature that is returning in Patch 825. It is going to be keeping the 50% experience bonus and the Port to Your Friend, uh, both of those things available when you are partied with the friend you've recruited, so those parts are coming back. And then outside of that, they've made it so you can now recruit up to 10 people and have those people connected to you, and then anytime any of them buys a month of game time, you work towards a total. So there's different rewards at intervals between the 1 and 12 months, notably the camel mount at 3 months, there's a pet at 1 month, and then the, um, the airplane mount would be 9 months, and then 12 months is a mog set. Both of those mounts would be passenger mounts, and it's probably a good change. I can't say that I really saw a huge amount of people running around on the old recruited friend reward, so maybe this will make the program more popular. You are able to recruit players that have never had an account, like you can recruit a brand new account, but you can also this time around recruit a veteran account as long as it has been lapsed in sub for at least two years or more. And that's great that they're letting us recruit veterans that have been away from WoW for a long time, but it's funny that that has come out now after Classic when I betcha that a whole bunch of veterans that had been lapsed for two years or more, uh, you know, came back and resubbed to check out Classic and are no longer eligible to be recruited. I don't know how many of those people would have wanted to do the recruiter friend thing for the rewards. Um, I don't think... It isn't clear if the recruited friend gets any of the stuff. I want to say they don't. So maybe they wouldn't care and it's just their friend that would have wanted to recruit them for the camel or whatever. The other thing these changes do is make it much more expensive to recruit yourself by buying a second account because now you not only need to do that, but then add a full year of game time to that second account if you want all the rewards. I'm sure some people will still do it, but those are that's, that's an expensive couple of amounts. For my week in WoW, just this morning I finally got my Heart of Azeroth level to 65. And granted, uh, I wasn't trying too hard, but I did get it done. I finally have my second essence slot, and that's kind of exciting. I feel very well equipped to kind of start heading back out into BFA and chipping away a little bit more at some of the objectives that I abandoned, like the Ashatar and Mechagod meta achievements. I feel like I'm going to try and do Nashadar first. I can't look at them both at once. It's just too much. I get overwhelmed and go back to bed. Another thing that I've been up to lately is setting up and getting comfortable with my new camera setup. You may notice things look a little different. I should, fingers crossed, be in 4K now. That was important to me and me alone, but at least I can keep my export settings the same between WoW videos and vlogs. And, uh, you know, we're a little we're a little more zoomed in. I haven't yet decided how I'm going to get the cat on the camera should she decide to jump into my lap. But that's a we'll, we'll figure it out. I am prioritizing cat footage whenever possible, just like not even not even for the videos, just in life in general. That's really my first goal. And then I actually have some new merch out. So this sweater is one of them. I have Joker designs on some long sleeve stuff. So there's like the, the slouchy women's sweatshirt. I have hoodies. I have long sleeve t-shirts with him. And then I also have a design that features Kira, the cat design that's on like the shirts and the sleeveless stuff. Both of the animals come on a pillow that's like the... Uh, like the canvas couch pillow, so not with this design, but with this design, but on a pillow. So that's available, and um, I also did a mug. Here, I'll show you the mug. 
So if you wanted to have your coffee or tea or fermented melon juice out of a mug, wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day uh, in my writing with a couple little drawings that I did, that is also a thing. And questions from this week, Typhoon NZ asks, uh, have you played Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn at all? I understand you are primarily a WoW content creator. Variety could be interesting for Twitch streams. Also, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday to you. So I did play uh, Final Fantasy XIV. I believe it was pretty new when I played it. That sounds about right. That sounds like something I would do. And as I recall, I liked the character customization a lot. Spent a long time doing that. Started playing. Made it to the first city and then got very lost, didn't understand the multi-layered map thing, never made it out of the city, and immediately quit forever. <laughs> it's my experience with Final Fantasy. I'm sure that was a very easily solvable problem, and there's it, it seems like a great game. A bunch of my guildies are actually playing quite a bit of it. It seems awesome. But I probably won't be mixing in non-WoW stuff on my streams anytime soon, just because I don't think in my foreseeable life I will ever be caught up on WoW. Dave asks, what does your desk setup like? Would love to see what you see when gaming, streaming, filming content. Also, happy birthday. Oh, thanks. So I took some photos. Um, I was polling um, questions for this vlog when I took this one. So you can kind of see my desk and how my monitors are laid out. I guess I can take another one now that I am doing the vlog because I do move my monitors for that. I have my monitors on these arms and they're amazing unless you try to... Um, <laughs> Just, you know, they're pneumatic arms, so if you're ever removing a monitor from it, do not position your face right over top of the visa mount. I've, I've tried it, I don't recommend. So this is the desk if, um, if I'm recording a video. So uh, this is the new camera, I just slap it on a tripod and uh, move my monitors around to make some space for it, because I gotta push that puppy all the way back. And M. Jeru asks, uh, somewhat related, could you show and explain the setup of your fish and dog cam? How they're hooked up, what camera's hardware you use? Yeah, so that's a real easy one. That is a webcam. I'm using a Logitech Brio, but I have in the past used a C920. It is on a little Amazon Basics tripod, and it is on a 25-foot USB extension. And the USB extension needs to be plugged into a powered USB hub. Otherwise, there's just not enough power for the camera to run after channeling for 25 feet um, that plugs back into my PC. So it's just a webcam on a real long cable. I do find that I need to make sure that that port, that the port that the webcam is plugged into is on a separate USB controller from whatever I'm plugging the cam link into whenever I'm streaming. Otherwise, one of my cameras starts freezing. Um, but then they both just go through OBS and it works pretty good. And I also got questions from a few people just about where the baking stream VOD is. I hope you found it. I did put it out a little later in the week. And just generally speaking, I've been rethinking the way I want to do stream VODs on YouTube. Um, just because I'm not super happy with the life I'm living right now. In a dream world, baking stream VODs still exist on YouTube in their entirety, but they're only in the baking stream VOD playlist. They don't get pushed to my upload feed so people don't get notified because it's a pretty small percentage of you that actually watch those. And then the normal live stream VODs are just on Twitch and you've got two weeks to watch them on Twitch until they go away because almost all of the views happen in that frame anyways. But then I will ideally, like, and this is this is fantasy world. I don't know if I'm actually getting this done. But I would love to take one or two clips a week of just, like, a conversation we had on stream about a topic or, you know, something something that, like, you know, with a late night show host do. You know, they don't put the entire late night show on YouTube, but they take, like, a five-minute clip of a specific thing so that it's it's a little more YouTube friendly. I would like to start doing that. So this is just me putting it out into the universe so it's less surprising. I worry too much about these things. Nobody cares. <laughs> Baking stream VODs will still exist. Um, I may start doing clips on YouTube instead of full VODs. I don't know when I would edit that. I'm very warm. This is a really warm sweater. I can't wait for winter. I have so many. I also got like real fluffy. I got these for my birthday. They're slippers and they're like angle boot slippers, which is important to me because I do not care for slippers that leave my feet before I decide for them to leave my feet. But they're also like super warm. And while it is September, it's not super cold season yet. So I have, I have gotten bundled up far too early. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you have a question you would like me to answer in a vlog, please leave them in the comments of the most recent one and include the word question. There's a merch link in the description if you want to check out any of the new shirts or hoodies or mug or, or whatever. Uh, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.